Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss about hemocytometry. In last class, we have discussed about anticoagulants and blood collection. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel and turn on bell button to get notifications on time. Let us start. Hemocytometry, where heme means blood and cyto means cell, and the cells are RBC, WBC, platelet. Eosinophil. The term metry means measurement. So, hemocytometry means blood cell measurement. Hemocytometry is of two types that is manual and automatic. The manual method is much time consuming and the test have a considerable degree of error and it is an older method. So, now we are using automatic methods for cell counting. These are less time consuming, accurate and reliable. Examples are counter counter, 6mex, mintre, etc. Other than cell counting, they also provide additional information like HB, PCV, MCV, MCH, MCHC, etc. The apparatus used for manual method of cell counting is hemocytometer. Hemocytometer consists of a special type of glass light called counting chamber and two special types of pipettes, RBC pipette and WBC pipette. These are micro pipettes. The parts of a micro pipette are stem, bulb, rubber tube and a plastic mouthpiece. The stem is a narrow elongated part which is graduated. It is followed by an enlarged hollow part called bulb which is the site of mixing of blood with diluting fluid. The bulb contains a plastic bead which facilitates thorough mixing and prevent the entry of air bubbles into the pipette. First of all, what is RBC pipette? Here we can see that the stem and followed by a bulb which contains a red bead and a rubber tube also a plastic mouthpiece. There is a slight difference between RBC pipette and WBC pipette. The stem of RBC pipette is short and stout than WBC pipette. That means the stem is short and a little wider than that of WBC pipette. Lower part of the RBC pipette has two markings 0.5 and 1 and the upper part has one marking that is 101. The bulb is large and contains a red bead. The lower part of the stem has two markings 0.5 and 1. The upper part has one marking that is 101. The bulb contains red bead indicates RBC pipette. The bulb capacity is 100 and the dilutions that can be made by RBC pipette are 1 by 100 or 1 in 100 or 1 in 200. And it can be used for doing RBC count and platelet count. Next is WBC pipette. The stem is long and narrow. The lower part of the stem has two markings as that of RBC pipette that is 0.5 and 1 but the upper part has the marking 11. The bulb of the WBC pipette carries a wide bead and the capacity of the bulb is 10. The dilution that can be made by WBC pipette are 1 by 10 and 1 by 20. So WBC pipette can be used for doing total WBC count. And also it can be used for absolute eosinophil count and sperm count. So WBC pipette can be used for total WBC count, absolute eosinophil count and for sperm count. In hemocytometer, two micro pipettes and counting chamber is there. So let us see what is counting chamber. Counting chamber is a thick rectangular glass slide. It contains etched areas for cell counting. That means Cell counting area is designed in a cut pattern model in the glass light. You can see in the picture that the upper surface of the counting chamber is divided into three stages and a special cover glass is provided which is thicker and stronger than that of normal cover glass. The upper surface of the counting chamber is separated into three stages by ridges. One, two, three. And the central stage is used for cell counting. The central stage is little lower than the other two side stages. The central cell counting area is called the ruled area. The cover glass 
is placed on the two side stages without touching the central area. So there will be a small gap. That gap is called as depth of the counting chamber. That means the distance between the lower surface of cover glass and the upper surface of the counting chamber is known as the depth of the counting chamber. And almost all of the counting chambers have a depth of 0.1 millimeter. Next is different types of counting chambers. Different counting chambers are available. Thomas Z's counting chamber, Barker counting chamber, Fuchs Rosenthal counting chamber, Improved Newbar counting chamber, etc. The most commonly used counting chamber is Improved Newbar counting chamber. The first counting chamber was Improved Newbar counting chamber. It is improved and new version is named as Improved Newbar counting chamber. The depth of Improved Newbar counting chamber is 0.1 millimeter and Ruled area is 9 mm square. Also we have Thomas Z's counting chamber, Barker counting chamber and Fuchs Rosenthal counting chamber. The ruled area of Thomas Z's counting chamber is 1 mm square. It is a very small counting chamber. Only 1 mm square ruled area is there. Then Barker counting chamber is 9 mm square as that of improved Newbar counting chamber. Then Fuchs Rosenthal counting chamber. It has a large ruled area that is 16 mm square. Thomas E's counting chamber, Barker counting chamber and improved Newbar counting chamber have the same depth that is 0.1 millimeter. Only exception is Fuchs Rosenthal counting chamber. It has 16 millimeter square ruled area and a depth of 0.2 millimeter. Next we have to study in detail about improved Newbar counting chamber. So this is improved Newbar counting chamber. It has two ruled areas, each having 9 millimeter square area. The two ruled areas are separated by a central gutter. Each ruled area is 9 square millimeter. The ruled area is divided into 9 equal squares of 1 millimeter square area by triple lines. Like this, the ruled area is divided into 9 equal squares. Each square having 1 millimeter square area. So, the total area is 9 millimeter square and the division is by triple lines. The ruled area is divided into 9 equal squares by triple lines. Here, the 4 corner squares are used for WBC counting. The each WBC column is again divided into 16 small squares. There are 4 squares of 1 mm square are there for WBC counting. The each WBC column is again divided into 16 small squares by single lines. Old WBC column is divided like that. And the division is made by single lines. Then what about RBC counting? For RBC counting, the central square is used. The central square, that means RBC area is again divided into 25 small squares by triple lines. This is the central area that is used for RBC counting. It is again divided into 25 small squares by triple lines. Then it is again divided into 16 tiny squares by single lines. After dividing into 25 squares by triple lines, the each square is again divided into 16 small squares by single lines. So, improved Newbar counting chamber has two ruled areas separated by a central gutter each having 9 mm square area. Each ruled area is divided into 9 squares of 1 mm square by triple lines. The corner squares are used for WBC counting. Each WBC counting area is again divided into 16 small squares by single lines. The central square is used for RBC counting. And it is divided into 25 small squares by triple lines. And each small square is again divided into 16 small squares by single lines. Okay. It's all about improved Newbar counting chamber. So today we are winding up. And if you are watching for the first time, don't forget to watch the previous video. We will complete the syllabus. Thank you.